This is Dave at Russo's RV in Lakeville, Massachusetts. Today we're looking at a 2022 2513S Rockwood. This just came in. This is the first time we've had the 2513. It's a relatively new model. Came out last year, later in the year. So excited to see this. We ordered it a long time ago and it's finally here. And this is a stock unit. So probably by the time you're watching this video, it'll be sold already based on how things have been going, but you can always check our website and I'll put the link there. If it's still available, you can check with us. You can always order too. Those take about six months. All right, let's take a walk around this and I'll talk about it. Standard mini light features. You can see the new decals on the tan for the 22s. Not much different um, than last year, but they kind of mimic the white exterior from previous year. This unit weighs just under 6,000 pounds unloaded you see this one came in 5962 that's with the slide topper and you know the options that it came with so it's going to be always going to be a little different than what the the book says just a, not much different maybe like within 100 pounds difference so you get the 30 pound bottles power jack battery disconnect switch underneath the propane and you can see it there that box can fit two batteries, which is nice because solar is standard now. So solar, 190 watt, along with the 12 volt fridge, the 11 cubic foot 12 volt fridge are standard. We got this with the toppers. We really like the toppers, protect those slides from rain, from pine needles and everything else. So this unit, one of the main things you're gonna keep hearing me say is storage. We have awesome storage space on this unit. This is a large pass-through storage see this on some of the 25s actually the 2205 as well some of the minis have this kind of massive storage compartment you got the cord in the bag that's the table that goes next to the griddle fits outside yeah of course you can access it from both sides potable water fill all right a little bit more storage in the slide room See this, it's actually pretty tall. Your hookups are in the corner, 30 amp plug. You have your city water, antifreeze inlet, gray and black sewer outlet. Black tank flush is in the back. Clean out your black tank outside shower. The griddle's actually gonna go on here. That'll swing, that's a swinging arm. That'll come, actually it's pretty convenient. It'll swing right around to your outside kitchen, which is located here. And the table that I showed you just a minute ago, it's gonna go right there. All right, let's check out this, this kitchen. All right, this is a full outside kitchen. You got a, a large electric refrigerator two burner cooktop. And then when this is set up with the griddle, you're gonna have the griddle right next to you. So you're actually gonna have this nice station for cooking. And that's a, again, electric fridge. Decent storage. And an outlet. Looks like two, it's just reflection. Just the one outlet there. TV mounts, outside speakers, and of course you got the LED light strip. The other side of the storage compartment. So really good storage, outside kitchen, uh, probably the best setup I've seen. This is similar to the 2507 outside kitchen, but I think the advantage here is you also have that griddle that's gonna be right in the back, right in the same area and it's underneath the awning. It's very important. You're protected. All right, let's go inside. So this truly is a couple's camper. The standard setup is with the theater seats. Theater seats recline. You got the table. Of course you can move that. When the unit came in, the table was stored in the front compartment, storage compartment. So you could stick it over there if you're not gonna use it. Otherwise you can 
keep it right in front of the theater seats. 12 volt fridge, as mentioned, standard now. You can still get the uh, six cubic foot gas electric, I say six, sorry, eight cubic foot gas electric fridge. Um, 12 volt comes with the 190 solar and an inverter. The colors you're seeing in here, by the way, are Newport Ash and the stone. So one thing I like about this model is you get decent counter space. So this is usable, deep counter space. I like this square and this corner. Usable space. And of course you have the countertop extension. The TV is strategically placed across from the theater seat, which is prime location. You can recline in the theater seat. Check out the TV, and the TV does swivel out. Storage. They really try to utilize as much space as possible for storage. Electric um, fireplace. I get the question a lot if it actually does work, and it does. Yeah, I think of it as a space heater. And then this model also comes with the wardrobe slide, and we're gonna look at all the storage in a, in a minute just to see how much storage space you have in here. It's 60 by 74 Camper Queen. That window does open out from the bottom. If you wanted to put a TV in the bedroom, you can mount the TV right there. One of the best things about this unit, other than the storage space and the theater seats and all that, is the bathroom. This is a really nice bathroom. You actually do have some counter space. Room for your legs to sit down. A big shower. I like the shower. And the storage. This massive amounts of storage here. That's deep with the shelf. Loving the storage, additional storage here. Speaking of storage, let us look at all the storage inside this unit. Now that I'm seeing all the storage all at once, this unit has a ton of storage. I don't think I appreciated it at first. So you have these storage compartments here, four levels and two cabinets. A little storage up here by the microwave. Pretty deep, probably about 10 inches deep. Two big drawers, one there. There, you have three smaller ones that come out. Terrific sponges and stuff. A couple more drawers. Storage there. I think my only, the only thing I wish that was a little different here was I wish these were a little deep deeper but still usable storage space over the theater seats and this actually goes through right there and it's about a foot deep even the theater seats have some storage on either side and while we're at it cup holders and an outlet couple USB charge ports. I actually folded up the table and put it behind the theater seat. So there's a little room behind there too. The bed lifts up. So you have some storage under there. And this is huge. It's really deep in the wardrobe slide. Three levels. And then for hanging clothes, both of these doors open up to that. Over the bed, more storage. And on the other side of the bed, more room for hanging clothes and another drawer. This thing has tons of storage. For a couple's coach, I mean, this is, should be plenty of storage for your needs. All right, let's check it out with the slide closed. Actually, right before we do that, before we check out the slides, I just noticed there's more storage. There's two drawers on either side of the bed. Those are big and they come out on either side. Ow. So there's even more storage. Fantastic. All right, let's check this thing out. The slides are closed. So we're gonna lose access to those cabinets. Let's just 
see if we can get in the bathroom. I don't know. I don't think so. I think it's gonna block it. Or is it gonna open up? Uh, let's see. Okay. All right, so we have to crawl over the theater seats, which you can do. Okay. And then let's see if we can get in here. Oh, the bathroom opens out, so no, you could not access the bathroom when the slide's closed. You can get to the bedroom, you can get to the fridge, which I'm standing next to, but no, no bathroom. All right. Let's put it back out and talk about a few more things. I wanted to show you uh, what this looks like with the doors closed to the bedroom. One of the few mini lights where you can actually close off the bedroom. Now this comes standard with the theater seats, but you can get it with the hide -a bed So you can make this a four person sleeper if you add the hide -a bed You can also get the dinette in place of the theater seat, so either one. But the most popular thing is the theater seat, which is why Rockwood makes it standard on this unit. Another thing that is great here is they've really provided you with a lot of outlets. So you have an outlet there on the countertop. You have another one that pops out with a couple of USB charge ports, additional outlet under here, outlet in the middle of the theater seat right there with a couple of USBs and then the bedroom outlet on either side of the bed. And there's a USB charge port. And then the bathroom, I'm sure we're gonna have an outlet. Yeah. So plenty of outlets, really good locations. All right, again, this was the Newport Ash with the stone interior. So this is a real light interior. These mini lights are taking about five and a half, six months right now. It's August, so probably looking at like January-ish at this point. So for ordering for the next season, for 2022, you probably want to order soon. So you get it for spring of 2022. All right, this unit right now, as of August 12th, is in stock at Russo's RV. Check our website. I'll put a link in the description. Have a great day, everyone.